Welcome back to Serenity ASMR. We're gonna pick up with the third installment of Stardew Valley today. So, we're gonna pick up here where we left off. Looks like there's going to be rain tomorrow, and our luck is neutral today, so... Alright, let me just double check what tasks we had. Catch three sardines. Poor Demetrius, I think we should be able to do that if we go fishing today. We're gonna have to go to the ocean to do that, though. Smelt a copper bar. Well, actually, we already did that, but I think I actually have to pick up the bar and put it in my inventory for it to, like, register. So let's, um... Alright, let's see. We've got a couple crops ready. We need to water everything. Dear Miss Sari, last night a Joja team member found you incapacitated. Medical team was dispatched to bring you home safely. We're glad you're okay. You've been billed 183 gold for this service, of course. Morris, Jojo customer satisfaction representative. Yeah, we got, um, I got a little carried away in the mines. And we didn't make it back home in time. Okay, so there we go. Now we've got that. Registered. Um, we picked up another carrot seed. And we don't have any more coal. We need to get some coal so that we can cook the rest of this copper. We needed, I believe, copper, stone, and some clay in order to go up to Robin's and build a silo. So that's the next task on my over here is to build a silo to feed my animals and then we could chop um harvest a bunch of grass with the scythe so we need to try to do that collect what we need to do that um let's plant this carrot
guys will eat this seaweed as well. Clear out an extra spot. An upgraded fishing pole would also be another good investment, but I think they cost for the next month up. I think it's either fifteen hundred or two thousand gold to buy it the, the next level. Oh, Willie wants to fish here.
bowl and then I can't catch another one. This might be a herring again.
some more of that. 
it's like impossible to not chop grass too. Okay, well, 
what he wants for his birthday. Let's see. Uh, this is also uh, part of the look up anything thing. So this tells you what they love, what they like, and anything. Everything that's grayed out is stuff that I do not have available to me. If the text is black, that means that you have it in a chest somewhere. If it's green, that means it's in your inventory, you're ready to give it to the person. Um, I definitely do not have anything. The only thing that I could possibly get that he loves right now would be a snail, but I don't have any crab pots, so I guess I can't really even get that. So we're gonna have to go with something that he likes, let's see.
best friend or whatever it is. Um, I don't think it matters as much if you do it. Three anchovy. Alright, well, we're gonna try it. Okay, I'm 
know if you can do, you might be able to chop those ones down, but they're kind of like in their front yard, so I don't really want to do that. There's a horse radish over here. Maybe we'd be better off going up to our farm and just chopping some there. We have a substantial amount of cleanup to still do up there. over here. There's not a ton of trees. I can't pick everything up. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Let's do one more because we're almost to 300. there either in a few days so 
we can catch him walking home. The problem is actually having enough um, energy to be able to catch what we need to catch. This might be another anchovy. Oh, no, I love it. Find it, please. 
please return it ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. There's 250 gold in it for whoever finds the thing. Robin. And lucky for us, I've played this enough that I know exactly where she left it. So that's an advantage. Alright, um, let's...
starting. I can't tell. They look so similar until it like actually says what it is. I can't tell them apart. Come on, we only need one more. to the bottom. It's really, it can be really hard to get the treasure chest and the fish sometimes. So we, oh, we got, was that a sardine? We need, so we still need one more anchovy. Shoot. sardines, we would have been done already. I just noticed there's some seaweed there, too. Oh, and there's a coral up here that I missed. Find that weird little That was no good. I was trying too hard to get to the treasure. Then we lost both of them. Wow, how did we get two in a row of these? Ooh, that was a close one again. stuff too. I don't know what to... Maybe I will drop the geode. All so that I can catch just one more fish here. I'm not really having very good luck. I mean, I'm having good luck. I got treasure boxes. I just am not having good luck catching the fish I want to catch.
course, the sardines, I, are, I have two of them, so they're worth 120 together. All of this to catch a fish that costs 37 gold.
fishing, which we ought to have because we were fishing all day. We can craft a crab pot now, and if we have a kitchen, we can do Dish of the Sea. Well, we made 227 gold on our fish. Probably would have made a lot more had I not had to eat half of those. It really is a shame. I guess I just need to spend the gold and the bookseller is in town today. Uh, also the traveling merchant Okay, well Dear Sari, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in the town square You should arrive between 9 and 2 if you'd like to attend You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt, Mayor Lewis Dear Farmer Sari, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met It really is a nice little house However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley, your local carpenter, Robin. Well, I'm glad she apologized for calling my house crusty. Okay, so we gotta give her an axe. We're gonna have to fill our watering can once again. And I don't believe that I picked up those large eggs either, so we should have extra. We should have some extra eggs over here today, I think. So 
I think I will put these in here now because we have the recipe for that. Um, we don't need much to make it, so I think rather than selling those, I'll just wait. So, because we should be able to. I just want. I want to check out the bookseller. I don't know exactly where the bookseller sets up.
hours to be able to break through it. I always forget about the block feature. I should be using that more.
so we have leather boots we can put on we get plus one defense and plus one immunity for that so that's good all right so we got our treasure box from here we made it to level 10 i think this is a good point to call it a day we picked up a lot of stuff too so we did pretty good oops we actually may have everything we need now to do the silo i believe there's the bunny i've seen the bunnies before the possum was a new one though over at, it was like he was over on the edge of the screen over well it was down like outside of the village but funny. He, he made such a scared looking face when he saw me. He went running the other way. It's kind of like when you find Grobus for the first time. Um, he's like a little black monster guy and I guess he's like a shadow person. I don't know what he is actually supposed to be a shadow person. Um, but he sees you and he runs the other way when you first see him too. So we'll put this, we'll put the shirt in my dresser, and then we have a lot of stuff that we can give to Gunther. So I guess maybe we should take a trip over to see Gunther, um, because I'm gonna plant these seeds right now. We have three perfect open spots here where we had potatoes, so that works well. Um, I guess I'll just, I don't know, I should probably just leave everything that I'm gonna give to Gunther in here. I need, you know what we did not find? We still didn't find an, an earth crystal. Maybe we already donated one to him, though. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe we did. That might have been one of the first things we gave him. Let's just take a look. Okay, so today is the egg festival. I'm gonna put this shirt in here. It's fun that you can like collect clothes now and choose which ones you want to wear. You don't have to worry about filling up your like a chest with clothing. You can just put it in the dresser. That's pretty awesome. Siri, have you settled into your new life yet? I can't believe you're all grown up now. Time sure flies. Now that you're gone, I have all this extra money lying around, so I included a little gift. Love, Dad. Well, that's helpful because we're gonna try to buy some stuff at the festival, so... Okay, let's see if we can get our plants watered before the festival starts here. So, in order to do the mayonnaise machine, we do still need um, to get an earth crystal from somewhere. So, the good news is, is if we, since we have that automate feature on the mod, um, we can just put any of the eggs we have in a chest and put the mayonnaise machine next to it and then it'll just pull them out one at a time. Which is nice because then I don't have to sit here and switch them out. So it looks like we're gonna have rain tomorrow, which is good, we don't have to water crops. is when you have the combination of a good luck day and it's raining because then you don't have to bother with your crops in the morning and you can 
simply go right to the mines or right to fishing, whatever you decide you want to do that day. Alright, well I just realized that we can't do any of these um, donations to Gunther because we can't get to the museum today with the festival going on. So, I think we don't have too long before the festival is going to start. I think I'll just do some, a little bit of cleanup here. Once you go to a festival, the time stops and you don't really use any energy. So, you don't have to worry about, like, I could use up all my energy. Vincent 
loves this festival. It's a joy to see him so happy. Welcome to the Egg Festival. Compliments of my wonderful brood of hens. Egg, what a strange thing to eat. We're gonna talk to Mayor Lewis last. What's everyone so happy about? Huh? Eggs, why eggs? This festival has been a tradition for as long as I can remember. Tradition connects us with both the past and the future. It's comforting. Eggs definitely have a place in the well-balanced diet. Yeah, Harvey's kind of a nerd too. He's always talking about your health and like doctor, doctor stuff. This festival is all right, but what I'm really looking forward to is the flower dance. I try to eat at least three eggs every day. We used to do a rotten egg toss. Mary Lou's put an end to that pretty quick. Searching for eggs is like going on a treasure hunt. <laughs> oh, my nose. Allergies. Poor Sam. Alright, did we? We didn't talk to Willie. Sometimes I hide an egg too well and no one finds it. Well, until summer rolls around, then the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. <laughs> Okay, we got a couple people up here left. Abby's always loved the egg hunt ever since she was a tiny girl. Spring is a busy time of year, so it's nice to have a day off to catch up with friends. <laughs> I put something nice into the bunch. I guess that's why Leah said it tasted better than normal. I hope everyone's enjoying the food. I've been cooking for days to get everything done. Fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, deviled eggs, scrambled eggs, chocolate eggs, you name it. Is there any more food? No one really talks to me. I just come for the deviled eggs. Linus makes me so sad. Here's Marlin. Even with my bad leg, I never miss a town festival. Alright guys, so this is the moment of truth. When we talk to Lewis, he'll start the festival. Do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt? Oh, not the festival, the egg hunt. Yes, let's start. So, moment of truth, we gotta see if I can collect more eggs than anybody else. Sometimes I can do it, and sometimes I can't. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. Alright, let's get ready. We gotta do it fast. Now, is everyone ready? Let the egg hunt begin! Oh, there's 
this year's Egg Festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. So, I think we'll wrap it up here, guys. It's going to be nighttime now. And I'm going to put on my little straw hat. It's actually better if you win the festival on year two because I think the prize for year two is a thousand gold. Uh, I don't know if it changes or if it's always gold after the first year, but. That's a pretty good chunk if you can do that. Alright, so thanks so much if you guys tuned in to watch today. I really appreciate it. We finished the egg hunt. I'm gonna get these strawberry seeds planted and we'll pick up with the next episode. So stay tuned.